I wish you a happy Memorial Day, and I do pray it's a time that you can at least come together, not too close together, but spend time together outside, social distancing, and protecting yourself. It is a different kind of Memorial Day because we're not just thinking about those that have given their lives in service in foreign wars. We're thinking about those that are currently giving their lives in service right here in a war that we're facing on our own soil. I saw on television last night where an airliner went down in Pakistan. It hit international news. It lost 100 souls, they said. 100 souls being lost in our country today uh, is almost seen as a good day because it's not more. Uh, To have lost as many people as we have, and Positive Christianity has dealt personally with some of the families, uh, it is incomprehensible. We can't even imagine it in our minds. More lives than were lost in the entire Vietnam War were lost in two months' time in this country. And it still goes on. We're praying for those. You know, for a family that is affected, it's not a hundred lives or a thousand lives or a hundred thousand lives. It's one life. One life that makes a difference and changes their life forever and certainly changes this Memorial Day forever. To those that are the police officers, the firefighters, the first responders, the ambulance drivers, the nurses, the doctors that are on the front lines, we think about them. And we think about those that have literally given their lives in this fight, in this war. In the midst of the confusion that we are in, the despair, know that our loving God stands ready to provide the security, the comfort, and the solace for which our soul cries out for. As we turn within in prayer, our loving God comforts us and uplifts us. We give in this Memorial Day weekend to our loving God every disappointment, every fear, every feeling that we have had of loss. And we hold nothing back. We let any feeling of pain or grief be released into the warmth of our loving God's supportive presence. People have said to me, they said, well, where is God in all this? Well, God is working to create a virus, inspiring those scientists, working to to send this virus into nothing but memory. And it will happen because God is present. The response from our loving Lord is immediate, and it's all-encompassing. Individually, it soothes our hearts and uplifts our spirit. We can trust our loving God to be with us through any time of uncertainty or confusion. And our loving God is able and stable and steady, a presence that is with us, an anchor and a support. As we look to our loving God for help, we are enfolded in peace and understanding, comforted, and we're guided through life challenges with love and with reassurance. I pray that you do have a happy Memorial Day. I pray that you will make it count with those that you love 
And I pray that you will remember, even in the excitement of the moment of being together, together but apart, and to wear your mask and to keep on keeping on until this is but a distant memory. God bless you.